Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on the HWA, and during the break, Commissioner Patrick Black okay to match for our television main, main event tonight at the urging of Cody Hawk, Ice Cream Man, and Mike Awesome. It'll be a six-man tag. Hawk, Ice Cream Man, and Mike Awesome against the Island Boys and Haku. That's tonight, but this is now, and this is Hawk. The forward contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, coming from the combat zone in downtown Austin, Massachusetts, who's your daddy, Steve Bradley? And his opponent, Steve Bradley. We saw him on last week's program against Ray Steele. And of course, getting an assist from Lance Kane. Steele got an assist from Johnny the Bull. Steele came out on top. Let's hope Kane is not in attendance tonight. Well, now we're going to take a look at the uh, very popular Englishman, Nigel McGinnis. And we saw a couple of very popular Englishmen uh, become very flat, broken, bleeding Englishmen in our previous segment. Hopefully the same thing will not happen as we now get the introduction of Nigel. From London, England, here's Nigel McGinnis! All right, Nigel McGinnis out against Steve Bradley. And of course, one of the things that has been uh, a thorn in Bradley's uh, side for the last couple weeks of bone of contention. Bradley says, I was the uh, IWA champion in Puerto Rico. I was the MCW champion. Why am I not getting a shot at the heavyweight title? Well, his the, tag team partner yeah. is the champion. Yeah, it appears that Steve Bradley is, whether he likes it or not, stuck in the position of being the policeman to the champion. And the policeman has a very simple job. His job is not to win matches or lose matches. His job is to take the steam out of the top challengers right before they get to the champion. Lance Cade, the champion. Bradley, his friend and policeman. Nigel over the top stops and as Bradley turns into him. Headlock, takeover in a nice maneuver. McGinnis. Yeah, we do have quite an international flavor today. Don't we? Three Englishmen on the show. Well, and I we hope we... that Jody uh, and Johnny are still alive. Yeah. I, we haven't heard from the dressing room. We had a lot more international flavor until the Island Boys slapped the taste out of Flash and Storm's mouth. But uh, right now, Steve Bradley dropped kick to the knee. He went downstairs, and I'll tell you less. To be quite honest with me, it surprises me that Bradley has never been the HWA champion. I think it's just been a series of bad breaks. And once again, to be quite honest with you, this may be a controversial opinion. Steve Bradley, in my opinion, is the best all-around wrestler in the HWA. I'm surprised he's never held the goal. I would say you're right. It's a matter of being in the right place at the right time. He has held the tag team belts on two occasions, once with Lance Cade, once with Val Venus. Uh, right at the, at the end of last year, beginning of this year. But, Wait a uh, minute, look at McGinnis. Whoa. He escaped that side headlock there by doing a handstand and coming out with one of his own. That was a tremendous maneuver. Very nice, very nice. And McGinnis with that headlock applying pressure. A nice uh, side suplex. Bradley frees himself up, dropping McGinnis on the back of his head. And Steve Bradley right back on top of the situation. No, Jim, I'm going to agree with you. Bradley... Uh, move for move, pound for pound, the, the most well-rounded performer in the HWA. As I had said on last week's show, if there's such a thing as a grizzled veteran in the WWE developmental system, it would be Steve Bradley. That's right, and of course he has been uh, lined up on at least two different occasions to start on Raw or SmackDown and always an injury. Wait a minute, there's a small package counted to by referee Phil Fair, but no, an injury has always presented itself to Steve Bradley every time he was ready to go full-time to the big stage, and I think as a result, that's where you see Bradley's bad attitude come from. Bradley is not happy that twice he's been struck down. He wants the third time to be the charm, and he's not only going to stay injury-free, but he's going to do everything in his power to be the HWA champion, uh, or to at least to be close to the champion, Lance Cade, his friend, so when the time arrives for the phone call, he'll be there for it. Absolutely. And as you said, Bradley has defeated some of the top performers coming through the HWA over the past year, and very soundly. He is a complete wrestler, no doubt about it. Nice neck breaker by Bradley on McGinnis. Let's see if he can get the pin here. Couldn't make it stick there, and Bradley now starting to get frustrated. McGinnis, the Englishman, has a lot of uh, testicular fortitude, as our good friend Mick Foley would say. 
And boy, I tell you, Bradley was so impressive last time at the Red Barn Flea Market in Batavia. And folks, uh, for those of you in the area of the Red Barn, remember the HWA returns on Saturday night, July 20th at 8 p.m. bell time. And advance tickets are on sale now at the Red Barn. Bradley, as Nigel was about to move out from that hole, snatched a handful of hair and drug him down with it. Bradley, using any means possible to stay on top here, shoots him in, takes him. Whoa! Oh, my oh, my Lord. Lord! The oxygen mask should have fallen out on that one. He got sky high. Fasten your seat belts, ladies and gentlemen, though. Oh, wait a minute. Two and no. The no smoking sign just came on for Nigel McGinnis because he, when he, when he re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, he caught on fire. <laughs> yes, he did. Bradley snap mares him and hooks that reverse chin lock and settles McGinnis in there, working, keeping the wind out of McGinnis's sails. McGinnis, maybe if he's got an advantage on Bradley, it might be his speed, it might be his, uh, his European style, Jim, although Bradley has defensed that beautifully thus far. Well, Bradley, let's remember, Bradley's wrestled in a lot of different places in his young career. Started out in New England, went to Tennessee, to Puerto Rico, back to Ohio. He had, oh, wait a minute, McGinnis with a desperation DDT stuck him. Bradley down, Bradley. His, uh, his running lights were dimmed on that one. McGinnis trying to make it to his feet. I don't know whether he's going to beat Bradley or not. Yeah, Bradley back up in the corner, but McGinnis up as well. Bradley sidesteps and McGinnis hits the buckle, takes the wind out of him. Bradley with a clothesline, drops the Englishman, and Steve Bradley should be right back on top on this one. Pacing himself a little bit, goes in for the cover here. Phil Fair gets a two count. McGinnis still able to kick out. Bradley frustrated by that. Let's see where he's going with this one. Well, Several chances to put McGinnis away has been unsuccessful. Oh, wait a minute. Here they had the seat of the pants, throws McGinnis to the floor. Now Bradley, I was going to say, he might need a breath of air, but he doesn't. He threw him out to the floor, and he's following him out after him. And now Bradley trying to manhandle McGinnis. McGinnis blocks it. Sends Bradley face first into the apron of that ring. Now Bradley back in, but he catches McGinnis coming under that bottom rope. Bradley shuts him down. McGinnis uh, coming in fast, wanting to get back on top and was unable to do it. Bradley with that arm whip takes, oh, McGinnis blocks it, comes back with a head butt to the midsection. And one of those Whoa. European uppercuts straightens the Bostonian up. Drop kick by McGinnis, and Bradley bounces up. Let's see where it, McGinnis comes, and again, the side step, but McGinnis to the middle rope and the flying cross body. Bradley kicks out. Man, what a match we've got on our hands. You know, I didn't think McGinnis was battling this close, but Jim, I'm very impressed. Boy, I tell you, McGinnis has such balance. Wait a minute, Bradley ducked under. Uh-oh, smash, smash mouth. mouth. Smash mouth, he nailed it. He's got that leg, it's academic, three. Man, oh man, a great contest all the way as McGinnis takes it to Bradley, but Bradley with his smash mouth finisher puts him away. And of course, we want to remind you of the big event coming up. Don't forget it. It's going to be a six-man tag. Awesome. Ice Cream and Cody against the Island Boys and Haku. And right now, we're going to hang in with after the break, and we'll be talking to Haku.